Hey guys and girls, it's Ryan Martin from Revive here. So, this uh, video I want you to do on endometriosis, ovarian cysts, and um, any issues that women have around their period, where maybe they're bleeding, maybe they're not having a regular period. Now, I did say I was going to shoot this in a couple of days, but I had so much on and I wanted to give this video the full time it needed um, because it's an issue that I get a lot. Women come to me a lot and they have these problems, they have hysterectomies. You know, they're all being told they're going to be cut, uh, have been booked in for a, in for surgery, or they're taking these pills, or they're having hormone replacement therapy. I mean, and it's just to me, it's just like, oh my, it's just like that's the that's the worst thing you want to do. You know, as soon as you do that, that's like my my um, analogy I like to use. It's like that's like your dash light coming on the board, um, your oil light coming on in the car. And instead of actually getting to the root of the problem and putting more oil in the car, whatever needs to be done, you just smash the light out and you hope the problem um, has gone away. But you know the problem comes back because you haven't got to the root of the, root of the problem. And as I said before, many times I'll keep on repeating it. Medication, etc., hormone replacement therapy. No one's ever been born deficient in medication. And as for surgery, no one's ever been ill because they've had too many organs. Do you think taking organs out is going to make you healthy? It's like, don't you think you need them? Don't you think they are a vital part of the human body? You don't see any of these women that, that I mean, in, in tribes, for example, living away from all the modern lifestyle, having their organs taken out, for example. And they live, some of them in the Himalayas live to like their 100. And, it's, and, and, and they haven't got any of the mod cons that we have. Now, this is an issue that really needs to be um, taken seriously. Uh, if you haven't started working on your diet and you're not doing everything right around that, then obviously that's a place to start. Um, that's something we can, we can get into. But for most of these women that come to me, they think they're doing a lot right with their diet. But if your system is overly stressed, then even changing your diet isn't going to be enough. And then when I talk to these women, these women of all ages, generally from about anything from 20 to about 50, 60, um, generally though they're around about the, the, the 30s to the 40s age. I talk to them. You can sense straight away how stressed they are. You know, when you when you've been doing this for a long time, I have. You can feel the energy of someone. And it's like being next to an electric fence. They're they're talking a million miles an hour. I've got to do this. I've been doing that. I've got to do this. And it's like, and the thing that they have to do, it's the same. It's very very simple. They have to slow down. Now, these women come to me. They're exhausted. They're trying to be everything to everyone. Trying to be pretty, um, beautiful. Trying to trying to be um, successful, happy uh, at their job, etc., and they're moving way too fast for their female anatomy. You know, uh, we call it successful woman syndrome. They're trying to live like a man in a woman's body. Now, the feminists out there will try and tell you there's nothing different between a man and a woman and a woman, um, but fundamentally there is. You know, men are like pickup trucks. You can you can smash them and smash them and smash them and one day maybe they fall apart, but they can go a long time, and that's why generally men come to me when they're, when they're at death's door, at like their last chance saloon. Whereas women, they're more like a sports car, like a Ferrari. You know, they look great, they're beautiful, but they go wrong once a month, and they have to have special care and attention. Now, it's so important. You know, it's, this is it's really important. If you're if you're constantly stressing your system, your body's not going to be able to, uh, to to heal and live in the way it's meant to. Women, for example, um, you're having all these issues with your with your hormones, your with endometriosis, cysts, etc., ovarian cysts, um, and then they say to me, "Well, I've got to, I've got to do this, I've got to do that, because who else is going to do it?" Well, it's the very simple thing is, who's going to do it? Who I mean? Are you going to be able to do that when you've got ovarian cancer? You know, very very simple. You keep on putting your body in so much stress. This is what's going to happen. Um, your Women's body, for example, they're meant to have enough resources on board to to be able to, uh, to for two people, you know, woman. They've got a womb. It's for creating life. You're meant to have enough resources for two people, and you haven't even got enough resources for one. This is where you're getting these problems, um, because you're, you're, you're everyone knows. Even you go back and look health. Um, you go back in all the all the tribes that haven't been touched by a white man. Even even back in the, in our in our um, in our culture, we know women are the crown jewels. Without without women, we have no children. So you have to take special care of your body, uh, and it's because you're you're living too fast for your for your female anatomy. 
you're living most of these women are, are trying to live like they did I, I get a lot of them who are single mothers especially you know who who are trying to live and keep up with the Joneses like they did when they, when they had a husband there you know they're, they're trying to keep up with it well, earn the same money that they that they did for them and the, and, the, and their husband did so they can have all the same go out and live the same lifestyle go out with their friends etc and have the same car the same size house um, buy all the clothes for themselves and for their children and just try and be everything to everyone and they just got to slow down they're living two days uh, in 24 hours so basically their biological age is twice their chronological age you know um, and when this happens you get a lot of a lot, all these issues come up it's almost like being as Paul Trek would say a one-legged man in an ass kicking contest um, you need to really reconnect with yourself and get back to introspection you know well, what we call doctor choir meditation qi gong increase your life force and the best thing about this about slowing down is it's very easy just to do less and as I said before people say well I've got to do this I've got to do that who else is going to do it for me and as I keep coming back to it Who's going to do it? Who's going to be able to? Are oh, you going to be able to do it when you have ovarian cancer? You know, in our society, uh, we've got everything backwards. You know, when someone gets ill or cancer, it's okay for them to rest, but when when they when they've got a chronic issue, um, and someone says, "Oh, I'm not feeling too good," you know, everyone just keeps on plowing through until they eventually get to that point of a chronic illness or a disease. Um, it's not okay in our culture just to chill out and go, you know, today I'm going to need to take some time off work. Um, and it's just really important um, to do this, to have an internal dialogue with yourself, to understand that when you're tired, to take that time for yourself, not say, oh, I've got another meeting to go to, or I've got to schedule in this, or I've got to be here, I've got to do this, got to do that, got to do this. No, take that time for yourself. You know, Have peace points in your day, maybe around food, no TVs on, no radio, no reading. Um, schedule in 10 minutes of breathing or meditation a day. Um, have that time to maybe just go for a walk by yourself just really slow down I see a lot of young girls with the miles of a 50 60 year old woman on their clock um, and they're just burnt out extremely tired as I said before the modern lifestyle is people living way beyond their means they're trying to get get all this money for the cars they don't need the clothes they don't need the big house they don't need or it's because of modern modern lifestyle turning everyone and they've got to be really beautiful for everyone and they've got to be a certain but um, um, certain body fat percentage all these things add up you know you need to get in touch with your inner voice and it's not going to happen overnight you're not going to be able to fix all these problems or the world overnight so give yourself time enjoy the process and slow down you have to really slow down and understand what you're doing um, to yourself by over distressing your system is causing these chronic issues and this chronic um, disease which will then if you don't listen will go into a proper disease and same as cancer and all these things you have to work at cancer studies have shown it takes 10 to 15 years to get cancer you have to really work at it and this is the same thing hysterectomies endometriosis you can keep on just going to have surgery and medication it's never going to get to the root cause of the, of, of the problem you know it's just going to give them a cut and they have, studies have shown 95 percent of people who get surgery for things for issues like this within five years time they're right back where they started and they're actually even worse than before um, so yeah things you've got to do you know you've got to stop behaving like a man in a woman's body and realize you have to take give give yourself time okay give yourself time to relax have that downtime have that peace for yourself introspection as I before meditation walks journaling um, tai chi really really important because you're just living way beyond your female um, body. It means people say, oh, you can, yeah, of course, there are some women who can do this, and some people have got strong constitutions and they can push themselves and push themselves until eventually they can't. You know, an analogy I like to use with this as well is you keep on blowing up, blowing up a balloon, one day it will eventually burst. And men's bodies are just much more robust for this across the board, and it's why I get lots of women coming to me with, this, with these issues. Um, and I completely understand sometimes it can be very hard and where to, there's so much information out there, it's very hard to know who to turn to and where to go. So if you don't know how to put all this into action, then find someone you resonate with. It hasn't got to be us. If it is, then fair enough, uh, send me a message or give me an email at ryan at reviveyourself.co and I'll, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. We can, we can talk about how we can help you. If, um, if it's someone else, then go, go and work with them or if you think you can do it yourself, 
go for it. But a lot of the time, I find that women need accountability in this and support. And that's the same as men doing when they got their own health issues, because you know, left to their own devices, we just go back into patterns. We need to understand. We need to build a process around this and get you to understand. You need to just give your body that time to heal. Um, we're not a machine. These things don't happen overnight, and they don't get healed overnight. But you have to do this. Slow down. Very simple solution. Okay. As I said before, if you, even if your diet's right, it cannot be enough. If your system's constantly overstressed, it means your immune system is going to be completely um, impaired all the time. You're probably not going to be able to digest your food properly. You're probably going to be holding on to more body fat than you need. Um, and all these other things come up, come off the back of it. And if you're overly stressed all the time, you can get all different issues, even to the point of leaky, leaky gut syndrome. So that's it for today, guys. Okay? Simple. As I said before, one of the best things about this is, not, <laughs> is that it's not hard to do less, but it's something you need to do. Okay? Girls, I hope that, that helps. Uh, as I said before, any questions, give me a shout. If you feel like you need a hand, then comment below or you know, inbox me or send me an email at ryan at reviveyourself.com. Okay, guys, as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.